Are you always feeling tired and just drained? Try keeping those eyes open a little longer. I'm going to tell you five exact reasons why you're so tired all the time and how you can bounce right out of this state of sleepiness. Everyone feels a little tired at some point in their lives, whether it's due to a late night out, the kids got you up, or you were binge watching Netflix late night, or maybe you were working longer shifts at work. Whatever the reason is, usually we can pinpoint the exact reason we are exhausted. But what about those times when you can't pinpoint the exact cause of your tiredness? What if you feel worn out all the time? What makes you feel tired then? Today, I'm going to break down for you five reasons why you may be feeling exhausted all the time and the ways you can possibly overcome your fatigue and put a little more pep into your step. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an emergency room doctor who treats everything from COVID to gunshot wounds, burns, you name it. I've created this video series to help answer some of your medical questions and the questions that I get from patients each and every day. If you find this video helpful, please do me a favor and subscribe. All right, here we go. Let's dive right in. Five reasons you're tired. Number one, lack of sleep. Duh. A lack of sleep may seem an obvious reason for feeling tired, yet one in three adults in the United States consistently are not getting enough sleep. Individuals between the ages of 18 and 60 need at least seven hours of sleep every night for optimal health. Getting less than seven hours of sleep will not only leave you feeling exhausted and fatigued, but it can also lead to impaired performance and a greater risk of accidents. And it also has adverse health outcomes. These include obesity, high blood pressure, depression, heart disease, and strokes, as they all can be credited to lack of sleep. If you struggle to get those seven hours of sleep every night, try avoiding naps during the day, limiting your caffeine intake during the day, and don't go to sleep with your phone. The blue light is a major disruptor to sleep patterns. The blue lights on your phone suppress the body's release of melatonin, a hormone that makes you feel drowsy. While this may be helpful during the day, it becomes unhelpful at night when you're trying to go to sleep. Number two, poor diet. Seriously, assess your diet. What are you eating throughout the day? Are you opting for greasy fast foods for lunch or well-balanced non-processed meal? You are what you eat and it does make a major difference. The easiest way to banish tiredness is to make adjustments to your diet. Eating a healthy and balanced diet can make the world the difference to how you feel, especially when you're eating dinner. A heavy meal that requires lots of added digestion may be interrupting your sleep pattern. You can switch up your eating style by implementing some of these very small changes, such as preparing well-balanced meals if you're on the go or simply swap out that sugary soda at lunch with water instead. It may seem silly and easier said than done, but it makes a difference. Number three, a sedentary lifestyle. If you sit down a lot at work or you forgot what the inside of a gym looks like, you might just have your answer. I'm not telling you to quit your job or join a gym, but exercise can actually eradicate fatigue. You think you'll lay down because you're feeling tired, wrong. Go for a brisk walk, take the stairs at work rather than the elevator, park further away when you're out and about running errands. Research by the University of Georgia in Athens discovered that compared with sitting quietly, one single bout of moderate intense exercise lasting for at least 20 minutes helped to boost energy. You can thank me later. Number four, excessive stress. We say it and hear it all the time. I'm stressed, you're stressed, everyone's stressed work, relationships, finances, life in a nutshell is stressful. Now, what if I told you a little stress can be healthy? It's almost like excitement in a way. For example, if you have a big job interview or a meeting, this type of stress is usually a positive thing if it is short-lived. However, excessive, prolonged stress can cause physical and emotional exhaustion. For example, in situations such as an office environment where you can't run away or fight, the chemicals that your body has produced to protect you can be used up and over over time can damage your health. If the pressures that you face are making you feel overtired and fatigued daily, take some time aside and just breathe. Remove yourself from the issue at hand. Physical activity is a significant stress reliever and releases feel-good endorphins. If you're feeling stress building up, go for a walk, take your dog out, or even put some music on and dance around the room. Number five, medical conditions. If you have made lifestyle changes, but you still just feel tired all the time, there could be an underlying medical condition. In this case, 
you should probably see your primary care doctor. If you are concerned that you have a medical condition that is causing you to feel tired, arrange an appointment with your primary care doctor or primary health provider to discuss your worries as soon as possible. Some of the most common conditions that report fatigue as a key symptom include anemia, underactive thyroid, diabetes, urinary tract infections, or heart disease, just to name a few. All right, that's been five medical hacks for improving your sleep with me, Dr. Wagner. If you have any seemingly random medical questions that you'd like me to answer and make a video about, please comment below. Also, if you have any sleep hacks that you swear by, I'd love to hear about that too. And as a reminder, these tips are not intended to replace a one-on-one -on -one relationship with your primary care doctor or be a replacement for any type of emergent situation. If you find yourself in an emergency situation, please call 911 or get to the local hospital immediately. Please make sure you subscribe and turn your bell notifications on right here. When you do that and hit the like button, you let YouTube know that you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.